Hello, good morning. <laughs> I just woke up like five minutes ago. It is time to, oh, I'm so sorry. It's way too dark right now. It's time to get on the way. My Uber is like nonstop texting me like, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. So, gotta run downstairs, but hello. We're doing this guys, we are. Monday though. I leave early Monday morning. Well, we did it. We surprised my mom. It was a complete success. I just got home like five minutes ago, threw on some mascara, this one from Sephora, and I'm about to run out the door again because we have some plans. We have a weekend full of plans, but I can't believe the surprise worked. There was like a 90% chance that it was not gonna go through because my dad is terrible at keeping secrets. And he's also like kind of obvious like I just knew for a fact that he was definitely gonna tell her and because there's like so many plans this weekend my mom really wanted me to come home but I kept like telling her and teasing like I'm so sorry I can't I have a group project to do I have this I have that and I know she was thinking about canceling all of the plans for this weekend but thankfully she did not and I'm here and we can go on with the plans so yeah there's a really fun weekend ahead of us that I'm of course excited to bring you on and it's weird because I feel like I was just home but it also feels like I haven't been home so I always kind of work through these like weird emotions when I first come back like it's familiar but I also feel like I don't live here but I also am like this is still my home and like my family's here you know it's weird I grew up here I've literally lived in the same town my entire life never moved so weird feelings but I also like love the feeling of home so glad to be here glad to be in the best state in the country New York mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and yeah let's get on with this weekend yay we've made it to the mall and there's literally no one here so strange but going in about to go see batman i had my brother give me a little synopsis of what the story is before we go in but this is the new batman's like origin story or something so i don't think i should get too confused but we'll see let you know how i like it at the end yay are you happy i yes, made it I'm home very happy. you were surprised yes, i still see. can't believe it i can't believe it i really thought dad was gonna give me up and he didn't that's good. And it's good you didn't cancel all the stuff. Oh, <laughs> so we can still be enjoying this. But yay. the movie ended up being really good I really enjoyed it it had a lot of really good movie reviews so I wasn't expecting to not like it but like I'm not really a DC girl I definitely like veer more towards Marvel films and like the continuity of them and the humor in them and just like you know like the little Marvel touch that no other company can like replicate that's really what I gravitate more towards um, so this was an interesting watch for me it was very long it was a lot more like dark and just like gritty than you know i feel like most superhero films so that was pretty cool but yeah i really did enjoy it today has just been so go 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 and busy but also exciting and of course you know i'm so glad to be home and spending time with my family and whatnot but it's been a long day and i want to relax and i want to take some time to myself because especially you know kind of making that like harsh transition from living alone and like doing my own thing not having to like answer to anyone just like, you know, being like my own adult to then, you know, coming home and being around my family and like having to go with like what the flow of everyone else wants to do and just like, I don't know. When I'm with my family, I don't feel like an adult versus when I'm at school, I do feel like an adult, especially since I have my own apartment and I'm cooking for myself and all this stuff. But when I'm home, I'm just like, mom, dad, take care of me. Like you pick out dinner, you do this, you do that. So I just feel very like young when I come back here, which is always a good thing, but it's definitely like a harsh transition, kind of like what I was talking about earlier, where it feels like I'm always home, but then it also feels like I'm never here. And it's like that weird, like happy medium of like, I grew up here and like this little place means so much and I've learned so much but also I don't feel the same as I did 
honestly, every time I come back, I feel a little bit different. And I think that's a good thing. I'm not mad about it or anything, but it's just like weird emotions you have to kind of figure out when you bounce between college and then your hometown. Um, but that is besides the point. That's a conversation for another day. What we are doing right now is pampering ourselves or myself. But I mean, maybe this is your sign to go do some self care, hop in the tub or do a face mask, read your book, drink some tea, whatever you like to do, whatever you consider self care, go do that right now. But for me, self care is getting in this huge bathtub and enjoying the F out of it. This is your sign, go do some self care either after this or right now or every day in your life, just do self care, okay guys? Treat yourself. Time is meaningless, pleasure is essential. If you know, you know. I never knew love would come and find me, find me one day. Oh, I never knew that you would be the one headed my way. And it's the next day. So I woke up really early today, did some editing, tried to get a little bit of a head start. And then every Sunday or sometimes Saturday, but basically every weekend, one of the days, my parents go out to breakfast with my aunt, who's also my godmom, so my dad's sister. And this weekend was no different. So I went with them, ate with her. It was really fun and nice and cute. Nice to see her, nice to be at home. Nice to just be with my family. Like I was saying yesterday, it's so like, not, oh, I kind of want to say humbling, but like, not humbling it's so i don't know what the right word is without making it sound like it's a bad thing because it's not a bad thing but it's so like it makes me come down on a pedestal i'm gonna say it like knocks me from here to here when i'm at home and i'm getting taken care of by my family because like i said i no longer feel like an adult i'm gonna say grounding that's the word i'll use it's like very grounding when i come home and it's very much just like maya you're still 20 come down a pedestal you can still get taken care of and even though it's nice to be independent it's good to be confident in yourself it's also good to know that there's still people that you can like lean on and people who can take care of you so i appreciate my family for that and for bringing me down for waking me up every now and then and giving me that little call like calm down maya you are not an, a real adult just yet anyway so went out to eat and then we stopped in at this small business that's in this area and it is so cute in there it's my first time going so it's called the lounge house and my mom actually got me a set from there a couple weeks ago and i wore it to puerto rico and i absolutely loved it so when i came home i was like mom we have to make it there and we went i intended to go in for like 10 minutes ended up spending like an hour there did a whole on a shopping spree like literally i got almost one thing from every single rack so very exciting very fun i will do a little haul but first look how cute this freaking shop is i know your body i know your heart your eyes told me from the start but then you fall back giving me signs that i've seen before yeah it's cute but honey i want more don't waste some more time If you're in the Westchester, New York area, or even if you're like from the city and you wanna like come upstate a little bit and like have a little small town day, check out the lounge house. So cute, so vibey, so aesthetic. They also had really good smelling candles. Yeah, that's been my Sunday so far. And we have the game in like a couple hours, but we have some time still. So let's do a haul. First thing I picked up and possibly the most exciting thing is this t-shirt. I circled the store like 10 times looking for like an oversized, almost like a t-shirt dress type shirt. But I wanted it to be like Disney, Marvel, or like Pixar themed because I'm always looking for Disney clothes that don't just have like a big Mickey on it, you know, that's kind of like trendy and cute and something that I feel comfortable like wearing to the parks. If you don't know, I go to Disney World all the time. I just wanted to kind of like revamp my Disney style because I always feel like I'm just wearing like Nike shorts and like a big t-shirt and like sometimes I want to look a little more cute in the park. So I found this shirt and I freaked out when I saw it. Like I literally grabbed it and I was like, oh my God, I need this. Look how cute. This should be like pretty big on me and I think I'm gonna wear like biker shorts under it or maybe even just like wear it as a dress. I have to see how long it ends up being but I absolutely love this shirt and it has Africa at the bottom. Like I said, the Wakanda forever. We have the Black Panther on the front. Black Panther is one of my favorite Marvel movies, of course. It really is the Marvel movie that kind of got me into Marvel actually. I also picked up this dress which is very much out of my comfort zone. If you know, you know, I never wear color. Everything I wear is 
kind of neutrals, this black, this like white cream color. So I wanted to try something else, especially now that it's like springtime at Howard. I know I'm not showing it that well, but like I think you understand what like a dress looks like. But yes, pink dress, really cute. I also think this color looks great with my skin. This next item is actually the first thing that I ended up picking out. I was like, yes. This is mine, I need it. So it's this cotton sweatshirt and it's just like a crew neck and we have this like metallic heart on the front that says call my manager. And when I saw that, I was like, I like you. But then I turned it and I was like, oh, I love you. <laughs> It says, call my manager again in a red heart with the right lettering. I love it. No, I don't have a manager. Yes, I will have one one day. And I just want to wear this and be like, call my manager. Like, you want to talk to me? Call my manager. I love it. This is also something I saw right away that I knew I needed. This jean jacket with these corduroy sleeves. And then on the pockets, there's little stars. Wait, I'm like having a hard time showing it. Can you see it well? And it's just like very grunge. I definitely am not showing this nicely. And then last piece of clothing that I got is actually this set. So these are the shorts. They're like corduroy. It's like a mauve color. It's coming out more red on camera, but they're definitely more like purpley, like blushy colored. And then it came with this matching sweatshirt. Again, it's coming out more red than it actually is. It's definitely more like a pinky color, but I thought this would be really cute as like an airplane outfit because it's comfortable but it also has that like sweater feel but then again be good for traveling in the summer because it won't be too hot and I could just throw this off and maybe have like a cute little bralette underneath or like something that I feel comfortable in but I really love the set and then of course I could wear them separately as well like these shorts are just super cute love it yay i'm so happy all these clothes were so freaking cute again if you are in the westchester new york area check out the lounge house it is so freaking cute i will have the instagram on the screen go check them out so it's like 1 30 and we typically leave for the game around like 5 so i have a good bit of time and i'm going to do some editing i'm going to just like double check all my homework make sure everything's up to date i really kind of forgot about all my responsibilities yesterday which i'm not mad about i'm actually very happy about it because i think everyone deserves a break everyone deserves to be able to think about other things you know aside from just like school pressures and work pressures and all of that so happy that i had yesterday to break but like i definitely need to like get back into it today so that's what i'm gonna do until the game starts but something really funny happened this morning i was editing my last video and i realized i have these like key phrases that i say all the time especially when i'm trying to describe something i feel like it's just hard for me to find like describing words in the moment so i just like say the most random things like right here's this butter beer i would just be like i love this butter beer so much it is like the cutest thing ever i absolutely love it and like that's just what i do for literally everything and then let's say i move on to like this scotch tape then i do it again i love this tape it's absolutely gorgeous blah, blah 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 but yeah i always say absolutely i'm always saying i love it and i'm always saying cute and i wish i could like catch myself in the moment but i'm just too busy thinking about like what I'm saying that I forget to like change up my vocabulary. And believe it or not, I feel like I still get a little like starstruck in front of the camera. I still find myself like having to repeat myself all the time or sometimes like jumbling my words, especially more so recently. I think my mind is just moving faster than my mouth. So I will jumble words up or it won't make any freaking sense and I'll either have to cut the whole clip or just like redo the whole clip. But I wanna say this and I wanna like build some transparency between myself and you. So, like, yes, sometimes I have to redo clips. Sometimes I'm filming for like 20 minutes before I actually get what I want to say out. And yes, it gets very annoying and very time consuming, but like, it's also good practice, I guess. Actually, I'm thinking about doing an unedited day in my life, which basically I would just pick up the camera and from the moment I hit the record button to the moment I end the recording, it would just be that entire video. No editing, no music, no cuts, literally nothing. So like if I mess up on whatever I'm saying, I gotta restart it or you know, if I'm having like a hard time, gotta restart it. If I'm pausing in between each thing, gotta restart it. It's just gonna be me messing up and being all jumbly and whatever. And I don't know, I'm a little bit nervous to do that just because of how often I feel like I'm re-saying things. So I don't know. Let me know if you'd be interested in an unedited day in my life. It would be very long too. It would probably be like a 40 minute vlog. But I mean, I'm here for it if you're here for it. So let me know and I could definitely do that. Yeah. That's where I'm at for today. I'm feeling very rambly. I need to get to editing and this homework and everything that I'm saying I have to do because I wanna be able to go to the game and not think about anything. So I'm gonna bring my laptop downstairs, do it amongst my family and just enjoy the rest of the day. So I will catch up with you when we're going to the game.
jazz. The Utah Jazz. I'm wearing number five, Quickly. Devin's wearing number nine, RJ Barrett. We got my dad here. My mom is up there talking to the security guard. But here we are, yay. This is like the main reason why I came home, obviously in addition to like just seeing my mom. I came specifically for this game because we have something really cool going on after it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to record it, but I will try to get pictures and show you. But for now, we're here at the game, so enjoy. Yay. You are my world in every place. It's the things I do do. And it's the smile on your face. And just like that, I'm back in DC, but I have a couple clips to still show you. So that big thing that I was mentioning was that my family and I got to go on the court and take pictures and like be on the court in Madison Square Garden. And it was, it was insane. If you're wondering how we got to do this, basically my family and I are season ticket holders with the Knicks. And with that, there's like certain perks that you get. So one of the things was to pick a game and you can go on the court, take the picture you saw. So I'm really glad that I was able to go home. I'm glad I could be there with my family and also experience going on the court and taking that picture. That was actually awesome. But now I'm here back at school and you already know the drill. So many videos on the way. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. So it's never too long before there's a new upload from me. Shout out to everyone who had a hand in helping me surprise my mom. I was so glad I was able to do that. But now I'm here. Gotta get back into school mode. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.